If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Yesterday was September 17th, which was a special Saturday for Travis Scott fans because that was the first date of the seven show tour or like Road to Utopia he's doing at the Zoog nightclub. And of course, we all waited for this day, but today we're gonna to talk about what he, you know, previewed at the event that happened and also what we can learn from that about Utopia, which is obviously the most interesting part about this and the thing that we're all waiting for. So let's jump straight into this. So Travis Scott came on stage yesterday, even though he was a little bit late, I saw, I, you know, I was on the Reddit right before he was about to go on and people were complaining like, yo, he's not even on. It was about 2 a.m. at the time, I think. So Travis Scott did really take his time with coming on stage for this Road to Utopia show, but he finally did and he did preview some new music. Now, now, of course, when he previews new music, it is likely going to be on Utopia. That is something that we can kind of gauge pretty surely. Now, I got this post from Our Generation Music on Instagram. Great channel, by the way, on Instagram to follow them for sure. Best, you know, place for any hip hop news right now. And they compiled all the different snippets. And you can watch, I'll link it in the description. You can look at this post. And we have a couple of features that are already confirmed on Utopia. So first of all, we have uh, Lil Uzi that is going to be on this record. The snippet with Lil Uzi is actually pretty hard. I think it's, it's a song that goes the hardest um, together with the one with Future because Future has a place on here as well. So we got those two confirmed already. And there are two more features, two that are maybe a little bit more special because a Lil Uzi feature and a Future feature, you can kind of find on a couple of records nowadays. The ones that I'm talking about are Kid Cudi and the song with Cudi is definitely amazing. The snippet for it just sounds like, you know, what you would imagine a Travis and Cudi song to sound like. like it just elevates you to another dimension like we all we all know what the two are capable of when they come together and create something like this of course this Cuddy feature also opens up the question again of a the Scots album we got the single back in 2020 and they announced an album together they got the matching rager tattoos y'all know that um, and we all thought we were gonna get an album together with the two of them so the Scots the duo that the two became but we never got anything. Kid Cudi is dropping Intergalactic at the end of the month. I'm, I'll be dropping a video very soon on that. But as far as the Scots, we just didn't get any news on it. Maybe with the new track, it'll get some, you know, hyped up in some conversations again. And the last feature that I want to mention, just because it's the last snippet that we got in this post, was Pharrell. Pharrell will also be featured on here. And the song with Pharrell actually also sounds pretty cool. I like when Pharrell gets, you know, get, get, gets like the balls to step in there and actually do some vocals and not just on the production side of things. I love that side of Pharrell. So we got these four features confirmed so far. Obviously, I didn't attend the event myself, so I can only judge from the videos there, but the, the crowd seemed, they, they seemed pretty hyped. You know, they seemed like they were having a good time. So it seems like he really delivered a great show. Now, the next show that is about to happen with this Travis Scott thing is on October 14th. So in about a month, that is a very long time. And I talked about, you know, the, the, the gap between these different shows in my last video on this you know, you wrote to Utopia thing. And what I said there were a couple of things, a couple of theories that we went into, which also a couple of people, you know, posted on the Reddit. My last video on this was actually a fan-made theory on this. And what I talked about is that tr there's a very high possibility that we won't get the album at the end of these seven shows. Because when you kind of calculate it ahead in the future, about a month in between each show, each show, we would, you know, come out at like April, March, April, I believe it was, for when this album album will actually drop and I don't think it'll be that long before Utopia drops like as a fan I don't want this and I'm but also like judging from just a rational perspective on this I don't think that this will actually be you know how long it will actually take Travis to drop this rather I believe that the album will drop during this whole rollout and then he'll use the you know ongoing show the ongoing road to Utopia to promote the album further maybe promote some merch maybe promote a tour maybe promote a deluxe anything you got going on with like special edition and accessories to this album that artists usually drop after the album is already out, I believe he could very well do that with these Road to Utopia shows. I think that's a very high possibility that that might actually happen, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Now also judging from the music we heard, the music will be not too special. It won't be a complete sound shift. It won't be like the rock album we, for example, thought that you know Kendrick was gonna do with Mr. Morale. It will just be a classic you know, Travis Psych delicate trap album 
kind of what we we're expecting from him. And that's cool. That is cool. People love him for that. That's what he does best. And Utopia has always been rumored as this album that follows in the same footsteps. So there's nothing that I can really say against this. Now, even though it is still a psychedelic trap sound, there were a couple of instrumentals in there that remind, that are very remindful of like rage beats. Uh, you know, people are in the comments, they say, yo, we need Cardi on this, you know? And maybe Travis will use this opportunity to put some of the smaller artists right now that are coming up on the whole rage wave and break into the mainstream right now. I'm talking, you know, Yeet dropped the Life EP. He's obviously the tip of the iceberg that is not now getting, you know, mainstream attention, mainstream success. Uh, but he could put on a lot of other artists like that. That he's also worked with in the past, so Fago, for example. Um, and, you know, artists like that could definitely have a place on this album and he could use this to give them a platform to then promote their stuff as well and to push the sound forward. I believe Travis is very aware of what is happening in hip hop and the different sounds the different you know waves that are like crashing in and kind of disrupting the mainstream trap sound that has been going on for a very long time now um, I believe he's very aware of that and knows how to use his platform of this big album of utopia to give them a platform as well and also just because he loves the music obviously so we're in for some new Travis Scott we got the Zook nightclub show that happened I'm of course looking forward to the next one we didn't get like an announcement there's nothing more than we got other than him playing unreleased music um, but it kind of goes against a couple of thoughts we also expressed on here in the past couple of weeks, which is that Travis hates having his music leaked. Like Travis is really someone that is very careful about it not leaking. He hated that when it you know happened for a couple of tracks on Astro World. And so I, I actually thought that he was gonna drop the album before he was gonna do this show. So it would have dropped on the Friday, so the uh, 16th, that was last Friday, two days ago. And then he you know could promote the album with the Road to Utopia. I'm really not sure what pattern it is going to be now, what kind of like special way he got going on right now to promote this thing. There could be a couple of them. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see what he does with the next show on October 14th. There are still tickets available if you live in California or, you know, Nevada is obviously in Las Vegas. Um, then you can still cop tickets for that show. If you do go, please let me know. Send me a DM. Send me a, you know, put in the comments. If you went to, to this show, you know, yesterday as well, please let me know in the comments because it'll be interesting for everyone watching this to kind of get a get a first person perspective on this and what actually happened but yeah that's what happened we got some new music four features are confirmed we got future on here little uzi vert kit cuddy and pharrell and he's going a little bit more in like a rage beat direction so we could see a couple of more artists like that drop on this album as well get a place on there and when this thing is dropping we just really don't know yet you know we still got a couple of shows coming up and i guess we'll get more information then that's my thoughts on this now i want to know what you think about this when do you think utopia is dropping what were you disappointed or were you actually pretty happy with this first show that we got at the Zoop nightclub? What do you think he still got coming up in the future with the other shows that are still happening? Do you think he'll actually, you know, announce the album at some point? Do you believe it's actually only dropping in March, April, like the way that you can kind of calculate the release date forward? All your thoughts and your theories on this, everything you got, please let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.